Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Today is the 19th of March. We've got a little bit of time here. In our last video, we dropped down the uh, console and the platform here onto the ground, and then we hadn't been able to get back to it. Had some other things come up, some trips, but we want to get these out of the way today. So we're going to work them up, pull off anything we th think we might need, and uh, get ready to send these on to China. And I got a few springs in here. I don't really know if we'll really ever need any of this stuff. We're going to take the steering column off, put it in the pile of parts over there, and uh, go from there. Won't be talking much. We'll save these rubber pads and getting this thing done. And we will focus on getting this to the scrap. Now I'm going to remove the four bolts and the steering column should come loose. We got our three springs, one off the clutch pedal, one off of the left or right brake pedal, and then the emergency brake, or the brake lock, I should say, not the emergency brake. So we have those, and now we're going to flip it over, retrieve our last parts, and then this is ready for scrap. store it with that and maybe the springs and what have you so we'll just store it with that or we'll take it out at a later time. There's the line uniquely bent. Probably we'll be keeping that. Working on getting the wiring and the key switch out. Switch should honestly be in good shape. I don't know why it wouldn't work. We'll keep one of those around. 
then you get back into here and there is some uh, circuit breakers back up under there might be beneficial in the long run we'll go ahead and uh, unplug this actually I think I will just snip the wires because it was a little hard to get off but uh, then a guy might have a plug if he needs to uh, lock onto these go back as far as we can where the wires are good you can see the mice have been in there chewing on them so I think that will be a very beneficial part for the future gasket thing to keep the uh, thing from being uh, cut on sharp edges so I think I will keep that that on out of there and we're about up to the uh, gauge cluster. Actually has a three-quarter nut holding that through the dash. Off camera we were able to get the uh, speed cable out. Okay, getting that off should then be able to remove this. Got a lot of threads under here. So now we have one choke cable removed. Okay, we got it removed. There's the spring that runs the throttle. And we should out to the carburetor I forgot. We have this ready to remove but I wanted to talk to you about right there where the word throttle is. You know if your combine has a lot of hours on it if when you look at this this is all wore away from sliding back and forth. I've seen it where you can't even hardly see the words and there's not notches. This combine was low houred. You can see a witness mark there where they slammed it over you can see how it's kind of rose up there but that is an indication of hours on a 300 410 or a 510 uh, if that is wore away I've seen that completely wore away so we're moving right along working on ripping all the wiring harness out and we're going to undo the oil pressure line right there and snip a few more wires and retrieve the console and the breaker bar down there and then this thing should be pretty well stripped out and ready to leave. because the plastic is off so but you may have a good centerpiece and you can uh, change it out I'm removing the breaker bar now that was easy and quick and we'll have retrieved 
which you can get at an auto parts store, but we'll have them here. Now I'm going to remove these uh, three eighths little nuts on each side. There's a bracket that holds the console firmly, right like that. Pretty simple. There's two of them, one on each side, and I don't know if you'll be able to see me in here. Being a little bit stubborn, and there it goes, and there is what a cluster looks like from a 300. This, the cylinder RPM should still work. I'm spinning it by hand. Temperature, I don't think will work because they had another aftermarket gauge in it, but it might be repairable if you needed it. And there's Sage. She's coming to investigate the smell of the mice nests. Final inspector. Oh, a little bit shaky for her taste. <laughs> she knows they were here at one time. So, getting those over to the scrap bin and then on to the main body. We will either be removing, unloading auger components on the right side or clean grain chain elevators on the left side and getting to the saddle tanks. She's having quite a time with this. Like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more. Thank you.